Hey guys, it's Larry Greenberg. Today we're going to take a look at the Belkin Shield Eclipse for the iPod Touch 4th generation. This case sells for $29.99 and it comes in a variety of colors. It comes in black, night sky, taro, royal purple, and a vivid blue. I picked up the black version at my local Best Buy. You can also check it out on the Belkin website. Links, of course, in the video description. So this case does come with one crystal clear screen shield for your iPod Touch. You can see that there. I haven't used it yet, but it feels pretty good. It feels nice and thick, good quality. Here is the case itself. It's a TPU style case, but what I really like about it, it has this see-through window along the back. I'm an Apple fanboy, everybody knows it, I'm freely admitting it right here and now, and I like to show my Apple products, you know, the Apple logo and whatnot, through the cases I'm using. You know, when you use a black TPU style case, it blocks out all that Apple stuff, and with this clear window on the back, you're able to allow it to all shine through. So, like any clear case, you just wanna make sure you kinda of have all the dust and whatnot out from underneath it before you put it on. Same goes with the back of your iPod Touch, just give it a good wipe down. I'm not gonna do that now, but you get the general idea. You don't want to have fingerprints and dust and stuff on there. And then putting it on, found the best way is to go button side first and then just pop it on. And there you go. So you can see on the back, you can see the Apple logo and the iPod and of course the memory designation there shining through the back. I really like that a lot. You can see the large pill shape cutout for the camera lens and the microphone. The Belkin name is embossed there on the top, but it's pretty subtle. You know, it doesn't stand out too badly. On the front, you get a nice amount of lay on the table design. The edge of this case does come up over onto the glass, so you can lay it down screen side first. On the bottom, there's two cutouts, one for the 30 pin dock connector and one for the speaker, and then another one for the headset jack. Now it's a little bit loose here on the bottom. The only stress point or weak point on this case is this little edge that runs along the bottom. And I've found that to be the case with most cases for the iPod Touch because all of the ports and whatnot are on the bottom. But it's a little bit flimsy, you just have to be careful with that there. As far as the volume buttons go, you can see they're covered there by the case, but they give you nice feedback when you press them. And then on the top, same goes for the sleep awake button. It's covered by the case, but it gives you good feedback when you press it as well. So I'm really enjoying this case. It's been kind of my case of choice of late. It's the one I've been using. It offers a nice amount of you know, slimness. It doesn't add a lot of bulk. Again, it allows the Apple information to shine through, which I like. It comes in a variety of colors, which is good. And at $29.99, it's not the cheapest case around for your iPod Touch, but I do think it's worth the price tag. If you have any questions about this case, feel free to drop me a line. Otherwise, you have a great day.